Yo, how's it going everybody? This is Ultimate Terror Spike, and I'm going to be starting a new playthrough on the most, one of my favorite games of all time. Super Mario Galaxy! And this game, whew, this game is so lit. I used to play this game all the time. And uh, I'm playing this on the Wii U because I thought it would be more uh, upscaled, I guess. But, uh, you know, it might be sort of crappy on the Wii U, but whatever. Alright. Um, I've already started a little bit of this. Well, of course, but I haven't really done it much on my Wii U, so... Um, you know what? Well, I don't even have a me on here. Um, I'm gonna be Toad. He's lit. Literally. <laughs> Alright. And you could like, move this dude's head around. And if you've ever played, if you've never played, uh, uh, Super Mario Galaxy before, um, it's basically Mario goes into space after, like, being shot off or something. I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna turn up the sound for the game for right here. Alright, I think we're done with all that bullcrap. There's something I need to give you. Alright. So this is the first part of the game. And, uh, ever since, uh, what's it called? Super Mario 64, you weren't able to, uh, long jump or triple jump. Oh wait, no, you can triple jump in the 2D Marios. But, uh, I just try to go as fast as I can through that. Here's another cutscene. What the heck? Look how slow Mario's going. He's like, boy, I'm n I've had enough with your bullcrap. Assassin's Creed Black Flag Mario Edition. What the heck? Why are they wearing capes? I've never seen that silver star before. Or, uh, star fee, or whatever the heck, I don't know. What do they call the stars in this game? That aren't, like, whatever. An actual star that you're supposed to get. I don't know. Star use. Oh, I like how the remote jiggles, or shakes. You are formally invited to the creation of my new exal galaxy. <laughs> The festival's over. Ooh, a UFO. I don't even remember this part. Wow. Alright. Um, I forgot where we're supposed to go. Oh, it's just up here. Alright. As you can tell, I, my favorite thing to do in this game is long jump. And I, I get a little carried away sometimes that I end up doing a uh, triple jump. Or a... Uh, high jump or whatever you call it <clears throat> or a backflip that's what I meant hope I'm not too loud I'm like an inch away from the mic <gasps> that probably blew up your ears right there
And, uh... Well, I, I probably shouldn't be talking during these. So instead of taking Peach, he just takes the entire castle. I wonder how long it took him to uh, get that idea. What the heck? Why is the castle almost as big as the Earth? Or like, it's a huge chunk of the Earth. What the heck? Well, it's probably not Earth. It's probably another planet. Mario. I feel like they use that exact same sound clip for every game. There's Magic Koopa. Oh Lord, for your flight, or whatever the heck. Mar Look, Mario, you're just standing there like an idiot. He could have gotten out of the way. You know what? I don't even really care if he gets killed. That's his fault for not moving. See, that time it was a little lower pitch when she said Mario. <clears throat> I was thinking of doing this 100%, but, uh, I don't know. I'll try to do it 100%. Like, 100% let's play, playthrough, whatever you want to call it. Walkthrough. I don't know, walkthrough doesn't have commentary, so. Uh, I guess he wants me to call it a let's play. Finally, you're awake, let's play. Alright. Alright, I, I don't think it's a good idea to uh, long jump. Oh yeah, I have to find these three dudes. I like how this, uh, let's play hide and seek. If you catch all of us, we'll tell you about where, or tell, whatever. We'll tell you where you are. I like how uh, this is a cool, like, sequence to show, like, uh, um, all the controls and stuff. That was really clever by Nintendo. Oh, I'm so hyped for the new game. That's why, that's like the main reason I'm playing this. Well, that and I like this game, but like, uh... I'm so hyped for the Super Mario Odyssey. Odyssey? That game is looking so lit. And, uh, the new Zelda game. I've been... I've been dying for that game for so long. Oh, okay, okay. I got it. Maybe you have to do it in order or something. Oh, there's one in one of those pipes, too. Boy. Alright. So they get tired. You caught me. I knew I should have hidden in the crater. See, it's telling me that I... Oh, okay. And then now there's another one in the crater, too. Maybe. I don't know. Come back here. Boy. Okay. Wow. Alright, I need to get used to the controls. Now I know it's in the crater. Okay, that was a complete fail. What? Maybe it's in the other crater. What? Oh, that was the same one I came out of. Okay. Yep, it has to be in this one. Alright. I think it was there the whole time. It's just... I suck. Alright. I just kept taking the wrong uh, crater. Ah... Dude. I hate all these, like, 
I hate the camera angles sometimes. Alright. So we're already 10 minutes in, and I could barely even catch three of these guys, so... Oh, I forgot to read what that said, but it says Mama. So I have to go see Mama. Somehow. Ah, <clears throat> oh, Lord. Okay, wow. That took a minute to just get up there. Ah, <sighs> that was really bad. I'll probably just do like 20 minute episodes, I don't know. Depends how far I get. Okay, now I get the spin power thing. Whenever you shake the moat, the Wii moat or whatever. I hope you can rescue the grand stars. May the shines down. May the shine shine down on you. I don't know. So there's two different type of stars in this game. There's uh, there's a normal star and then there's a grand star. So, oh yeah. Uh, I forgot what we do here. Oh dang, I forgot this is actually a level. Alright, let's go. Hi there, good to see you. I have some bad news though. See, I had a launch star already for you, but a meteor smashed it up. So find all the star chips, okay. And there's a black hole at the bottom. So, I don't want to die. This is a pretty uh, crazy level for being the first one, but whatever. Oh, there's the last one. Ooh, shoot. Alright, get wrecked. So those are the crappy Goombas. To where, um, you only have to spin to kill them. So I guess I have to kill all the enemies. That was really bad. And then these are actually the good ones, but you have to kick them afterwards. Or you can just stomp them them once. I forgot what that thing does. Oh! That, uh, this beam right here, whenever you go like that, it's, it spins all the Goombas. And then you could just go like that. Wow, I thought I was gonna get hit by him. Alright. Thanks, would you mind rescuing my buddy in that base up there? Transform. That's the same uh, noise that it makes whenever you, uh, uh, whatever it's called. You feed the purple dude, or the pink dude. Yeah, it's a pink. It's this one that you have to kill. Boom. In some ways, that thing is easier to kill than the smaller ones. It's a lot smaller. Um, it's slower. Or it's a, no, it's a lot bigger and it's slower. Hurry, down here. Alright. I forgot you don't even need to press down. Or Z, L, or whatever it's called. It's a Z. Okay. So that's the Grand Star, and we have to save it. They're using the Grand Star to power that awful machine. It looks like it's making something. What if it's making something good, huh? I don't know. Well, it doesn't look good to me, but whatever. So instead of turning these yellow, I know I got it. So instead of turning these yellow like you would usually do, you turn these to blue because you want to shut this thing off. Alright. I'm usually a lot better than this. It's just... I haven't played this in so long. Wow. I swear if I die in this, I think I'm quitting. Well, not really, but like... Boy. I haven't played a 3D Mario in so long. <clears throat> I 
have 3D World, but I just don't play it very much. Boom. What? I thought that was the last one. Where is the last one? Oh, there it is. You have to wait for these things. Bam. There we go. Woo! Oh, and the music in this game is really good. Oh, I forgot the da na at the end. Alright, so this is the main hub of the world. I guess you could say it's open world, in quotes. Because you can't see my hands going like, whatever. The reason I didn't do a face cam on this is because I got a new setup and it would just be a really big hassle if I did. Or whatever the heck. You only hear this song like once, so. And then the more grand stars you get, the more it opens up. But you can actually still go in the black area. Even though you don't have the access to it. And star bits what are what you feed to this pink dude that eats all of it. And uh, he opens up like it like special galaxies. Like there's just one. It's like Cookie Crumble Galaxy or something like that. I don't know. The beacon in red is lit again. It's a lit, lit AF. It shines weakly, but. Uh, maybe only as bright as a class 6 star, but at least the poor limos will survive now. What I never thought is, like, if that's a star, and the sun is, like, a medium-sized star, and that, well, that's a small one right there, but, like, the biggest it can be is not even around that. So I'm like, wait a minute, does that mean Mario and Rosalina are, like, bigger than a star? Or almost as big as a star? I don't know. And that is the our game theorist, or something like that. I don't know what they say. Okay, welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's my home, and also home to the Lumas. I was getting off track for a minute. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every 100 years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. All right, I'm gonna stop that. She doesn't sound like that. Uh, I'll just. A strange force has latched onto our ship, pulling away Starbitch and our power f power source power stars. Our ship had lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who took your special one pick up the power stars and discover the power to cross the universe. Stupid Bowser. Please. Please. Oh, wait, what the heck? She actually had a voice clip there. Um, please have a request. I have a quest. Request. This observatory uses star power to proje project images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. And there is a chance we can use our few remaining stars to look for other power stars. These round rooms are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these. But the only one that is working now... Power is powered by the star power you restored is this one the terrace please go to the terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you see from there if we do that we'll be able to restore the comet observatory's ability to fly like a starship then perhaps we can pursue the thieves who uh, ran off with the power stars alright Alright, um, I think I'll end it right here. You know what? I will. And I'll have to make you guys uh, do a, cl a cliffhanger for people that have never played this game. And, uh, yeah, make sure to drop a like, or smash a like, or whatever these new kids are into these days. Uh, but whatever. Whatever you want to do with that like button, I don't care. It's your life. So, uh, unless you want to hit the dislike button, because I don't care either. But, alright. If you want to see more crap like this, hit subscribe, and uh, 
I'll do another episode either today or tomorrow or some crap like that. I don't know. We'll see you guys later. Peace.